So currently guys, we're living out of a garage. We've got some puppies over here. Today, 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 we can go put Ego and Tron in a very unique setting slash situation. Uh, Ego didn't get to go last time. I don't know if I even posted the video of the dogs being worked at various sites. We have a connection with the police force or police officer named Bray. He'll be on this episode. We're gonna interview and talk a little dog with him later, but Stan and them, um, been working with Brett for some time. He's got a great Malinois. Uh, he does that Malinois, wow. <laughs> and uh, Stan does all the acting. One day we'll get to see Bam Bam out there, hopefully doing some of this stuff as well. But stay tuned. Ego and Tron are coming today. It'll be their first day doing any type, of, any type of scent work, any type of where's he at work, any type of like unique bite work. I think we might go to a movie, a band and movie theater, and a. Uh, and a mall. I think those two things. Imagine going into a mall like a movie scene and being like, oh my God, what is going on here? You don't know where problems are, if there's traps, if there's scavengers. <laughs> it's going to feel like a movie. So Mark's going to be on the camera. That's what I did last time. And I couldn't bring my dogs because I can't run the camera and run the dogs and manage. It's just a lot. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs, people. And enjoy. Yo, what up, people? We're out in Sherman. And you see, there's no pets allowed. So... Our dogs are not pets. We spend a lot of time working with our dogs. They have jobs, they have purpose. And this is a time to test those purposes out. So we got some older dogs, we got some younger dogs, some inexperienced dogs, and we're gonna see what they do in this environment. And then we're gonna make their communication between the handler and the dog better on the things that they're not successful at. So this is an abandoned mall. There's gonna be probably stuff on the ground. There's gonna be noises. There's gonna be low lights. So it's gonna be a really good environment to test everything we've been doing with our dogs that y'all have seen over the past couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Shit. And, and so, I won't say I got into it with a dude, but a dude messed with me, he looked tight. So he was like, dogs can get into an aggressive state, blackout, and basically kill one another. And he was talking about making sure that, uh, I guess everybody's got a tip for me about my dogs doing outs. But I told him, I said, look, if Greg, any officer I know, sends their dog after your ass, he ain't worried about out, he worried about getting your ass. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I'll, make so, them, I'll make them out one way or another, but for me, <laughs> Main main thing that counts is that the the dog uh, make sure make sure I go home safe. And do you know what that means? That means if you kick in and, and, and whooping my dog's ass when I've sent my dog after you, and if I say out or the dog for any moment gets timid, then you can hurt my dog, right? And even more importantly, grab his gun, potentially get him and the dog. So when people are like, hey, you need to work on this, you want to clean out, I'm like, uh, you breaking my house? I'm not worried about cleaning so this. So the way the way I see it, it's always good to have a nice clean out. But at the same time, when it really matters, you know, when your dog is biting on somebody in real life, when that person is kicking, screaming, trying to stab the dog, whatever, I want that dog to try to mess them up even more. You know, I don't care that that dog has an out in that moment. Uh, typically, with, with dogs like ours, it's just going to piss them off even more, which, which is good for me. You know, I, I really don't care about outing the dog when it actually matters. You know, so in, in trials and certifications, things like that, yeah, we, we absolutely need an out. But on the street, we're gonna get them off as long as as long as we go home safe. And that was my point. My dogs ain't gonna black out. His dogs ain't gonna black out. The trained dogs are having a good time uh, because we've worked through literally. This is an everyday affair. His dog, I'd imagine, is always with you. Yeah, always. Always with me. And even when he goes, oh my, I'm feel like I don't even spend enough time with him, and he's yeah. with me all day. So again, control is everything, and and really nothing at the same time. <laughs> Here we go, people. Midway Mall here in Sherman. We're about to walk inside and walk the premises, get a good lay of the land. Oh, man, we're in a band of movie theater. It's super quiet. Dark. It is dark, man. <laughs> and I'm over here trying to get these settings, bro. Trying to get these camera settings. Ooh, we can't see nothing. There we go. I can see a little bit now. There you guys go. The, what's the call it? The uh, lighted collars. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is dark. Yep, it's dark, dark. Woo! Let me tell you. It's That's quiet. When you get in rooms, it's dark. Yeah, but it's a little eerie. <laughs> this is like, crazy, but this is going to be fun, people. No floodlight, no flashlight. I don't know what color nobody is. Drive <laughs> my steps. Yeah. Drive my steps. Sheesh. I can't see a goddamn thing. Yeah, you know, man. niggas in here hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> And dollar fifty. Two seventy-five. Two seventy-five. Dang. All right. So that was the theater. Now we into the mall. Now we into the mall, people. This is where the fun magic is about to happen. This is kind of sad. 
What malls? Bandon Mall. Oh man, I wanted this gum stick. Oh, there's still gum in here. <laughs> I should have did that. <laughs> oh, that was so funny, man. Dang, this is crazy. It's, it's quiet in here, people. A little hot. A little hot. It's, a little it's gonna be easy. Yeah, it's gonna definitely get cooking in here. But that theater was dark. So this will be fun for the dogs. People, look at all this empty space. All this empty space. They said it was about 60 percent 60 of this mall is vacant. I think on the other side. I think on the other side is a, is a Burlington Co Factory. So yeah, look at all this. This is all very fun, unique obstacles that our dogs get to kind of run up and down. I even brought the drone too, so I might even fly that joker through here. This will be interesting. I'm working on something back there. Oh yeah, look at that store over there too. It's abandoned with all kinds. Take that chair. That chair. They don't need that chair. <laughs> this you don't know if old come dusty, out. old dusty chair, oh, bro. That book is dusty. Dusty. Are these ping pong tables? Nah, them them stage. Oh, that's for a stage. I'm like, they got. The yeah, this is, yeah, this is. Right, oh, this is a DEB. DEB. This is a DEB. Games. <laughs> this here. It's a Santa Claus chair right here, people. <laughs> oh, we about. To, uh, I should take some presents. Right, let's go see some presents. Let's see this right here. <laughs> We're in this abandoned mall, people. In the DEB. Right, people. First time we're about to go into the mall. Come on, boom. Come. Yep, yep, yep. I'm right here with Jamil. We'll take the first bite. No, Rocco out there, y'all ramped up. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Season, season, season. people about to go into the darkness just the light Here we go. all right Rocco's looking for him Rocco's looking for him I see nothing find him he's looking for him right now. he's looking for him so we're going in here. This is a abandoned movie theater, people. Abandoned movie theater. He's looking. He's looking for the suit. Yeah, it's dark. It's super dark in here. Can't find him. He's looking for him. He's looking for him. He's looking for him. He's, for him. <laughs> so he's, he's hiding here somewhere, people, in one of these theaters. Where's he at? Check it. Cool. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. Shit, nobody does. Nobody knows where Jamil's at. He's hiding. He's going in and out of the the aisles here. Attaboy. Here Where's we go. Soup? It is dark in here, boy. But he's trying to find him. Rocco's on a mission. Rocco's on a mission. He's looking. He's looking. He's jumping there. I, I stay way back. I'm going to break his head. Like, uh, we'll just wait till he gets uh, a little closer to the subject. All right, so he's... Are you going here? Are you going here? Oh man, this thing is super vacant. Ain't no chairs in here. Nothing in here. Dang. Where's he at? He's looking for him. Where's he at? Boom. Where's he at? Where's he at? There we go. 
Here we go. He's hiding right over there. Here we go. Oh, here we yeah, go. Rock, here we go. Yeah, rock. No. Yeah, rock. Boom. Damn. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, that was crazy, bro. <laughs> was you in here the whole time? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. So there you go, people. Y'all first hand a hide and seek in the dark. Gotcha. So he's about to give, give Rocco some wins. Send him over some fun stuff. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, so if you can tell, this is... Good things for the test of dog's confidence. Good boy, good boy. Good word, good word. So what was that about the floor? Uh, slippery floors test the dog's confidence. If they don't have good grip, some dogs might get insecure. You want to work that dog through that. Oh. Yeah, because if y'all saw when he was when he even took off, Guard. he was kind of stutter stepping a little bit. And after he works, he gets to win. So we're gonna let him slip it, and we're gonna carry it back to the car. That's his pride. So what's about to happen right now? Who we about to bring out? Whew. All right, so we're gonna get Jaeger. Jaeger's a police dog, so we're gonna work him a little differently than we do the civilian dogs. He has to get a little bit more pressure because of the situations that they get put through. So we're gonna go in there. We'll probably do a dual attack. I'll catch him the first couple times, and then we'll do a dually. So like, we'll hide in there, in one of the movie theaters, you'll send him in there, he comes and bites me, then you go attack uh, break. Okay. Or vice versa, if he finds you first, whoever he does, he finds first, the other person will go bite, or attack. So Jaeger's a police dog? Yeah. He's gotcha. seven? I think he's seven years old. Gotcha. He's had some, some live bites, so he really knows what he's doing. And we're just gonna, again, training scenarios with him and his, him and his handler. And how long have you been working with him? I've known Breg for two years now. We met him on Top Dog when we went out there for season two. And he was like, man, I like you. Let's train. I was like, where are you at? He said, Sherman. I was like, got in the car when we started training. So it's good to have people that can bring you in environments like this, different situations. Mm -hmm. Iron sharpens iron, people. You got to be valuable enough to provide value for other people as well. Stay tuned. Here we go, people. Please dog in full effect. Let's get him amped up. Get him all amped up. Here! Hey! Oh, shit! Here! Here! 
behind the, the concession stand yep. and we wanted to see what he would do with the glass with different surfaces all of that and he did very well I did a lot of extra stuff slamming cabinets kicking him beating him with uh, what was it a shelf that had stuff flying out of it because these are things that somebody would do in a real situation if they're trying to get this dog off like Greg said earlier in the video if you kick in and screaming at these dogs we want them to go harder so in training situations we want to set that up as closely as it can be in a real situation so the dog knows what to do he doesn't take those screams he doesn't take the hits and anything the pressure being put on him as a negative thing it's fun for him and he knows he's going to win eventually <laughs> 